Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Axel and welcome back to another Warframe video. Today, I'm going to show you the best ways to farm focus so then you can max your focus trees. So let's get into it. Before you can start earning focus, you need to equip a focus lens on your Warframe or weapon. The best way to farm each focus lens is the tier 2 Necrolist Bounty. All you want to do is just complete stage 1, then head back to the Necrolist. If you didn't get a lens, then keep repeating stage 1 until you do. You should expect to get a focus lens in 3-5 to five runs. There are better focus lenses that you can get, but I'll explain how to get them later in the video. There are currently three main ways to farm focus points. Adaro on Sedna, Elite Sanctuary Onslaught, which is commonly referred to as ESO, and Eidolon Hunting. In this video, I won't be going in depth in Eidolon Hunting as it will easily take 20 minutes to explain everything, so that will be for a later video. First, let's look at Adaro on Sedna. Adaro is an extermination mission and for this method, we will be utilizing the Stealth Affinity Bonus. Each time you get a kill without alerting the enemy, the affinity you get for the kill will increase by 100%, stacking up to 500% after 5 stealth kills. To achieve this, you want to use Equinox and put all the enemies to sleep before they are alerted of your presence. As for builds, you want to use a max efficiency, range and duration build. This is the build that I personally use. Calm and Frenzy is an optional mod that does come in handy every now and then, but can be replaced for Augur Reach. As for weapons, a Zor with Exodia Contagion would be the best as it can kill groups of enemies fast without waking them up. I personally use a Safan with a Vegit 2 Jai Link and a Plague Aquan Grip with this build. Even without a Riven, you can achieve over 100% crit chance. The Riven can be replaced with Molten Impact. If you don't have a Zor, the Gwandao Prime is a good alternative, but any melee with a base crit chance of 27% or higher will be able to achieve 100% crit chance with the Sacrificial Mods. As for how good this method is, it really depends on how fast you can kill without alerting the enemies. I did 5 runs and each run took between 4-6 to six minutes, with all but one run being under 5 minutes. I did my runs using the Naramon Focus Tree to utilize Affinity Spike and Power Spike, but I have calculated what the results would be if I wasn't using Affinity Spike. After doing some math wizardry, on the screen now is the average amount of focus you will get each run depending on what type of lens you are using. A Mastery Rank 20 player could expect to reach their daily cap after 12 to 14 runs if they are using normal focus lenses, but if they were to use a lure lens on both their Warframe and Melee, they could expect to reach their daily cap after 5 or 6 runs depending if they were to use Naramon or not. Now let's look at ESO. This method is probably the easiest out of the three because all you have to do is kill enemies and go through a portal every two and a half minutes. Currently Saren is the best Warframe to use and I tested her with 95% and 150% strength and found better results when I used the 150% strength build, especially against Grenier. On this stage, I managed to get just over 26,000 focus when using 95% strength and a lure lens on both my frame and weapon. But when I used 150% strength, I got over 37,000 focus. This is the 150% strength build that I used. The Umbral mods and Prime Sure Footed may be a little overkill, but it definitely helps. I then paired Saren with the same Zor that I used for Adaro with the same build. And again, if you don't have a Zor, the Gwandao Prime is a good alternative. Even though this is the easiest way to farm focus, it is not the best way if you just want focus. But what it lacks in focus, it makes up with rewards. You will mainly get a Radiant Relic or Endo every two stages, but you do have a chance to get Captura Scenes, a Synthetic Eidolon Shard which is worth 5000 focus points, as well as Lato Vandal and Bratton Vandal parts. The results you are about to see, take them with a grain of salt, due to each week the tile sets and factions change for each stage. I only went to stage 8 and got the following results. As you can see, the amount of focus I get per hour is nearly half of what I could get when doing Adaro. 
but if you want to farm relics while farming focus, this is the method for you. Last but not least, Eidolon hunting. Like I previously stated, I will not be explaining how to hunt the Eidolons, but when hunting Eidolons for focus, you want to make sure you capture the Eidolons so then they will drop a brilliant and radiant Eidolon shards. These shards can be converted to focus, and just a reminder, focus earned through Eidolon shards does not go towards your daily cap. When you capture a Terralis, it will drop one brilliant Eidolon shard, which is worth 25,000 focus. When you capture a Gauntless, it will drop one brilliant and one radiant Eidolon shard for a total of 65,000 focus. Finally, when you capture a Hydralis, it will drop two brilliant and two radiant Eidolon shards, but your total will be three brilliant and two radiant Eidolon shards due to the Gauntless dropping a one brilliant shard that you don't need to use to spawn a Hydralis. Therefore, the total amount of focus you get when you capture a Hydralis is 155,000 focus. If you have an optimal Eidolon hunting squad, you are able to capture the Hydralis a max of 6 times in one night cycle, resulting in 930,000 focus in 50 minutes. Now, if you want to earn more focus when doing the first two methods, there are a couple things that you can do. Firstly, install a lure lens on your Warframe or weapon. Lure lenses convert 160% more affinity into focus compared to a regular lens, and you can get a lure lens blueprint from Rotation C Rewards at Apollo on Lure. Lastly, affinity boosters. Due to focus being created by excess affinity, if you double the amount of affinity you create, you double the focus you receive. You can also equip a Smitikavat with the mod Charm equipped, which will give you a chance to receive a buff that doubles your affinity for 2 minutes. That is all for this Warframe video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching.